Hello and welcome back to a foreigner and family in the Philippines. And we were walking across the cornfield here and I just decided to take a video. We are looking for leftover corn cobs because we're still um, hauling up sacks of corn and uh, we're shelling it. So if we find any, and we've, we've actually found a lot. We had a sack with us. We didn't happen to have a sack with us right now, but we're just going through. It looks like the Carabao cart came through here, knocked down some some corn stalks and we've but we found there there were a lot that get left behind either fall out of the bag or fall out of the sack or uh, got missed or during sacking got missed but if you notice too in this particular area they're a higher concentration I guess they did they did we didn't do as much uh, the land prep back here but these pineapples are, are still fine and thriving. In fact, we probably helped them by planting the corn with a little fertilizer and although we hurt them because they, they want full sun and this provided a little shade, but now the corn stalks are coming down so they should bounce back, which would be good. I'd like to have a, a pineapple abundance that I didn't have to do anything for, but there are some areas where we're like, where we didn't plant that are maybe closer to the creek and the vine weeds have kind of while the pineapples are still there, oh, that's a big one. No, that's what she said. But where the pineapples are still there, but the vine weeds have taken over on them. And I didn't want to go through, I'm trying to get away from using the weed spray. I'm just getting started. I know it's hard to go from conventional farming to organic farming, but I'm going to try and, so I'm just going to try. Well, I don't know that it's hard. I've heard it's challenging. That would be a carabao poop right there. And my wife almost stepped in it. Fortunately, she did not. I can come back and scoop that up and use that for a little compost or fertilizer. So, but as you can see, there's lots of pineapples here. I would love to have uh, a pineapple, volunteer pineapples. And that would be wonderful because I love to eat them, but I would love to be able to sell some. And it is pretty hot out here and I'm not really moving and we're making our way back for... So, I don't really need to show this unless I was running across a whole lot of missed corn cobs, but for the most part, the harvesters did very well. In fact, we increased the pay uh, for the harvesters because we didn't provide a well we were, I was going to increase it anyway it went from 60 centavos per kilo and that's what they harvest for you pay them by how much they um, harvest and you have to go out here when you load them up on the cart you have their area you weigh the sacks I have the scale 60 centavos, 60 centavos per kilo uh, and I we raised that up to 80 centavos per kilo so that was a pretty significant jump up and we actually harvested probably faster than we needed to because we got so much harvested that it took longer to plant and so we got caught up to that to where we had to hold off on harvesting to finish the the rest of the uh, harvesting because the corn wasn't quite ready to be harvested yet so probably could have gone 70 centimeters but and i did i wanted to increase it but we also took away the free lunch because we're not set up over here, but it's funny because this, this work is so hard with the sacks. Uh, they're so heavy and getting those up and hauling them that I, I, I'd feel bad about not. These guys need to eat. So we did, for those guys, we did get the, they do have the free lunch. Because uh, I've, I actually was filling in for a spot. And it is hard work coming out here with the Carabao and cart and uh, loading that up. And in this area, this this was this is a bad example of where the corn is. This is on the the fringe, but I mean the pineapples are doing tremendous here. And you're like, man, that corn is kind of. But the corn was actually did fairly well for being that it was the soil was it was a pineapple farm and it was uh, probably fairly depleted. Um, our corn harvest last time, the corn cobs looked a lot better. 
Not, and when I say look better, I mean the, the, the quality of the corn, I mean, it looks great, but they were larger, they were heavier. These were, these were not. And I did, I followed the fertilizer, the fertilizer plan of the Department of Agriculture, which I've been, since been told that you don't do, that. you don't do that. And we didn't do that the first time. So I might look at, uh, when we plant some more corn, do a different type of uh, fertilizer plan. So, and as I'm walking along here, I, I, yeah, I have found them before, but right now I'm not, I'm not finding any. Yellow's only got the, a couple cobs in her shirt over there, so, which is good. They did a good job. I'll go ahead and end this video here. Uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.